Hello everyone. Welcome back to the second video on how to use Google Sheet as a database. In the very first video, uh, we have seen how to convert your Google Sheet into a JSON with the help of a Google Sheet DB interface, which take care of the security and provide all the information available in the Google Sheet in the form of JSON. And in this uh, second part, we are going to see how to retrieve the information from the Google Sheet based on the condition that you have given. For example, let's assume that uh, I want to retrieve the information uh, based on the condition that ID should be 10 and email should be equal to this lindsay51 at gmail.com. So you need to pass this information on the API request to fetch this information alone. It is similar to how you are using the where condition in the conventional database. Let's see how to do that. And I already created an API for this Google Sheet. And if you're watching this for the very first time, uh, let me delete this uh, spreadsheet. And I will create an API from the scratch. So to create an API, you have to copy the Google Sheet link. Uh, you can still keep this as a private. You no need to share. Just copy that and go to this dashboard. I have given a link in the YouTube description. You have to sign up with a Gmail where you kept your Google Sheet record because uh, when, once you sign up, it can able to read only the Google Sheet that is, uh, that is associated with that particular Gmail. So use the Gmail and sign in to this app and you will see a dashboard like this and here click on create new, copy the URL and click on create API. So within few seconds, your API is ready. And uh, this is the API URL. Let me copy this one. So if you look at this, uh, it retrieved the Google Sheet name. And in my case, the Google Sheet name is employee database as well as URL and created the API out of that. Let's go to Postman. I'm selecting the get request and click on send. So now I got all the records which is present on the sheet one. So I'm fully focusing on the sheet two. So to retrieve the records on the sheet two, you just need to pass sheet as a key followed by sheet name just copy the sheet name and go back to the postman click on send now you retrieve all the data which is present on the sheet 2 which is large mpdp so now i want to filter the records in the large mpdp let's see how to do that so in a conventional database we use a where condition followed by the column name and the column value similar to that you can use a special route called search. You have to use the search uh, before the parameter that you are passing. So this will take care of doing the search operation. And here you are specifying that it should perform the search only on the large MDB. And now I'm going to add a condition. So I want to retry. Um, a record having an ID 10 and email ID as this lindsay51 at gmail.com. So ID should be 10 and email should be lindsay51. So this ID and email should match with your header ID and email. So ideally, it took the key name from your header. So make sure that, so whatever the text that you have given in the header should exactly match this key and the value should be from the uh, records so now we have ideas at 10 and email as a lindsay let's click on send and see whether we can able to fetch the information so if you look at here i got an array as a response which contain one json object with id and all the information that is associated with the id so now you learn how to uh, perform the search operation. So let's see how to perform search with OR condition. 
similar to uh, or keyword in the conventional database to perform an or condition you have to change the route from search to search underscore or so when you use this route it look for the condition and return true if any of the condition that you passed matches with a record on your google sheet so in my case it contain only one record so it return true let me go and change the email address as this fe dot bats let me replace that one and if i click on send now i got two records one for the first condition and the second for the second condition if you want to limit the record to one single value you can add an additional condition like limit is equal to one and if you click on send it will show you the very first match identified by this api so the 10th is the very first match identified by uh, this api and that's why uh, you are getting this record so let me replace that with search alone and if i click on send you are not returning anything because id is 10 and email is from the 11th record so none of the conditions are matches so it return an empty value if i change 10 to 11 and if i click on send in the search operation i can get the value over here and now we also have a uh, one more parameter called case sensitive to accept true or false so when you set it to true it should find the filter condition with case sensitive enabled so if you change if we to e caps then it return nothing because there is none of the email that starts with cap c so that's the use of case sensitive so this is how you, you can perform a search operation on the google sheet database to explore more about uh, this sheet api i have given a link you can go ahead and check that out let me know if you have any question that's it for this video if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye